Hello everyone, welcome back to Yummy and Yummy. Hope you're all doing great. It's been a while since I posted any video on this channel as my schedule got hectic with me going back to work and kids going to school in person. But thought of squeezing in some time to share this video with you all. This video is from our trip to Orlando, Florida during kids uh, winter break. We were accompanied by our friends Sunita, Prashant and their kids and we visited Magic Kingdom, Kennedy Space Center and Daytona Beach. We had a great time there and enjoyed every bit of it. This is from the fourth day of our trip when we visited Kennedy Space Center. It was a great experience for kids as they got to see prototypes of spaceships, learn about NASA's different space shuttle programs and most exciting was the shuttle launch experience where they got to experience the sight, sound and sensation of blasting off into space aboard the space shuttle. Unfortunately, we couldn't capture it as phones and cameras were not allowed inside. There are thousands of experiences at Kennedy Space Center, but the must-see attractions are Rocket Garden, Heroes and Legends, Saturn V Rocket, Space Shuttle Atlantis and Journey to Mars. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we were able to cover only Space Shuttle Atlantis and Heroes and Legends because we were a little late to start from our hotel and it was almost an hour drive. So here we are at the entrance of Kennedy Space Center. We were expecting a huge line of cars, but it was not as crowded as expected. And here we are standing a little confused on where to go first as there was no brochure that has the map leading to different attractions. The brochures at the entrance just have the list of attractions. After some contemplation, we decided to take the bus tour. By taking the bus tour, visitors can access restricted areas of Kennedy Space Center. It was a great experience as you get to see larger than life facilities like NASA building.
name is Barry. I'm going to be your tour escort today out to Saturn V. And on behalf of NASA, welcome to uh, National Aeronautic Space Administration. Welcome aboard. Now, real quick, while we're on the bus, if you notice right behind me, we've got a TV up there, okay? While so I'm sitting here looking at you, please put your mask up over your nose. It's Saturn V. You're more than welcome to make all the mess you want. But if you would, please, no eating on the bus. Now, also keep in mind, we're on a wildlife preserve. Animals at any given moment can walk right out in front of this bus. Once I get up over 30 miles an hour, please stay in your seats. That way, if by chance anybody does, anything does run out in front of me, and I end up having to slam on the brakes, I have to swerve to try to avoid it. Really don't want any of y'all to get hurt or to fall off. Look to the left of that, you're going to see some trees, and in between the trees and over the stands, you're going to notice three more lightning rods. That's Launch Pad 39B. Now, that is NASA's launch pad. That's what they use for the Space Launch Systems rocket, which they still have not had their first test flight, but they figure they'll have it the first part of 2022, we're hoping. Now, as we get up here and turn, if you look to the right of Launch Pad 39A there, you're going to see four more lightning rods in a scaffolding tower. That's Launch Pad 40. Now that is on the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station side. That again is SpaceX. That's strictly for the Falcon 9. Now up in front of you, you're going to notice people walking around with pedestals. 
Each one of those pedestals has got the astronaut and the shuttle mission to which they flew on. This is a pretty nice little setup that they finished up last year, right before hit, uh, COVID hit and closed us up. So here in a minute, I'm going to stop and let you guys out. You're going to go through some stainless steel doors and watch a 10 minute video. When you exit the theater, you're going to be in the smaller section. When you exit the smaller section, First we went to Race to Moon, Apollo 8 and the Firing Room where we get to watch history unfold in the Firing Room as the first crewed Saturn V mission blasts off into space. Kids were thrilled to watch the lunar theater that relieved the final few minutes leading up to the first words ever spoken from the surface of the moon. The eagle has landed. Apollo 11 was the first space flight that first landed humans on the moon. Commander Neil Armstrong and Lunar Module pilot Buzz Aldrin formed American crew that landed Apollo Lunar Module Eagle on July 28, 1969. This is the giant exhibit of Saturn V rocket, the rocket that launched humans to the moon.
Here we are at the Treasures Gallery. The items found in this gallery are rare and precious and are nothing short of treasures. Medals, prototypes and training gear tell the story of astronauts bound for the moon in this Smithsonian affiliated exhibit. From Ellen Shepard's moon dust covered spacesuit to Apollo 14, crew capsule, everything that we can find in this gallery are amazing. This is the Apollo 14 crew capsule. After visiting Race to the Moon, we were back in the bus again to see other attractions. On our way back, we were fortunate enough to see SpaceX's uh, Falcon 9 launch vehicle. It was just recovered after its landing, which explains why it looks dirty outside. Falcon 9 is partially reusable launch vehicle designed and manufactured by SpaceX in the United States. Our final destination is Space Shuttle Atlantis. Here you can see mighty full-scale Space Shuttle. Atlantis is displayed as only astronauts have seen her in space rotated 43.21 degrees. Atlantis was the fourth shuttle constructed and 
the last one to fly into space. It performed well in its 25 years of service. Flying 33 missions, including secret mission for US military, ferrying astronauts to and from space station, and launching several props. That's all for today friends, hope you like this video. I haven't uploaded the videos from our trip to Magic Kingdom, we'll upload that soon. Meanwhile, please leave your valuable comments and give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Thank you.